hello everyone my name is Ajay uh, in this video I'm going to explain you uh, about how you can serialize and deserialize a JSON object in C sharp .net. so for doing that uh, I want to use an example here if you can see I'm having a console application so to that console I mean I want to show this in a console application so in this console application I'm having a school class and teacher class so you know what so for explaining about the serialization and deserializing I want to use this school example so then serialization a JSON serialization is nothing but converting a, a, a .NET object to a JSON object is known as serialization and whereas converting a, a JSON object to a .NET object is known as deserialization so for doing that I want to use this school as the example so for this school if you see I'm having four properties school name school address zip code and teachers is a array collection of properties so for this school uh, the school name school address and zip code may be one record but the teachers may be more number so it is like a collection here in this school uh, class so if you come if you see for uh, each and every teacher I'm having again two properties teacher ID and teacher name so that's about this school and teacher uh, classes so let's create our object to this school so I just I'm just using this object I mean so here if you can see uh, I created an object for a school so for this school object I assign some values like school name as school one school address as India zip code as 12344 and the teachers as teachers array so if you see the teachers array so th for this teachers array I'm having two teachers one is teacher ID with one and the other one is with teacher ID as two so then for this school object I'm having uh, school name as school one school address as India zip code as uh, 12344 4. and for this teachers I'm having two teachers uh, two, two teacher items here for these teachers so this is my .NET object so let's uh, check how we can convert this .NET object to a JSON object so for doing that uh, you need to go to references just you need to add a DLL so for that go to references add reference and it's loading the references yeah wait for wait till the uh, references loads just select the framework option here So uh, after the references is loaded, just go for the option known as system dot runtime dot serialization. So this is the DL that you need to add for this project for using uh, for doing JSON serializing and deserializing. So it's nothing but nothing but a predefined .NET DLL. So you can find uh, in any system. So just add the reference and click on OK okay so it's added in to my solution successfully so then after uh, so then after then after if you go to this namespace system dot runtime dot serialization so if you go to this namespace you can find a data contract serializer so this is the class that you have to you will be using for doing serializing and deserializing with the JSON object so you have to get this class and just naming the object as serializer serializer object equal to new you know what I will remove this and put here the namespace okay so for this serializing new object it is expecting the type so this this type is nothing but the type that you want to serialize to a JSON object so here you want to serialize school object right so you have to pass that school school type here uh, to this constructor so for that just go for type of predefined method and pass school type to it let's see okay so my serializer object is ready now 
now using that serializer object so you can see a write object predefined method so this is a predefined method which uh, you can serialize a dot net object to json so by using this predefined object you can uh, serialize this school object to a json object so so for that thing i am using this uh, write object predefined method so here if you see it is expecting two parameters like the one is the stream and the other is the object so object is nothing but this school object whatever object you want to serialize that object you have to pass as a second parameter and the first parameter is the stream just you need to create a new stream and you have to pass it to this so for that I want to create a new memory stream and you know what here it will be expecting it is having so many old so it is having many predefined uh, input parameters but for now I'm just leaving it as a constructorless thing so I've created this stream object so you can pass that stream object here and the object that you want to serialize so this is that object school object so just pass that one okay so after write object method so here you can see this will serialize this object to uh, JSON object and it will store in the stream so we need to uh, read that JSON object from the stream so for reading that uh, for reading that you can use encoding in C sharp UTF-8 the get string so we are you this is the predefined get string predefined method which is in this encoding class so this will be expecting the bytes so what we can do means we can convert the stream into array so that it will become array of bytes so if we pass this we will get the output of that json in the form of string so that way we can get that output so for that reason i am using this predefined method for converting the stream to a string so okay so here you if you see it will be returning retaining me in the form of string so i will be storing the in string s1 variable okay and now i want to store that in a file so for that i want to use file dot write all text and i want to write the string contents in a file so in this path i want to save it as a text file which will be having my json result so here if you can see it is expecting two parameters string path and string contents the path will be the path will be this and i want to save it in school.txt file and uh, it is asking for string content contents so this is the contents that i am aware i am having the json result so pass that here so this will be just writing this string one content in this path file so uh, the serialization so this, that's all about the serialization json serialization so let's run this and check whether it's working as expected or not so after i have, i'm running after uh, running this solution I need to see a file here in this path which is having the JSON result so let's run this control F5 okay now yeah you are here you can see a JSON file is generated successfully a text file I mean so in this text file if you see So it is still in the XML format, maybe I missed or something.
you know what I uh, made a small mistake so it, if here you can see it converted it's serialized into the XML form so actually the thing the mistake I've done is that this is the wrong class so it is data contract Talk contract. So this is the wrong class. This is the wrong thing. I mean, for uh, serializing uh, JSON object to a, a .NET object, you need to use data contract JSON serializer. So you can find this in using system dot runtime dot serialization dot JSON namespace. So before I was using a different uh, different contract serializer so that was just serializing me in the form of xml so if you want to serialize something into xml then you can use the previous class so if you want to serialize it to a json then you need to use this class which is in this this namespace okay so i made that changes and now i want to uh, delete this and i want to run the solution again and make sure everything is as expected so it ran and so here you can see the file is generated successfully and let's open that file and check it so here you can see i got the content in the json format successfully so school address as india school name as school one teachers i mean the teachers is the collection right so it is uh, for this collection again i'm having two teachers so here you can see teacher one and here teacher two in this teacher's property and i'm having the zip code as well so that is about serializing of JSON object frames. So, and if you see, that's all about serialization. And if you want to deserialize that same content, if you want to deserialize the same content to a, a .NET object again, if you do, uh, if you want to deserialize the same object to a .NET object again, then you can simply. So. I mean, at the end, I'll be showing you how you can deserialize a JSON object to a, a .NET object. So, oh, just I want to write this thing here. So, for that thing, you can use the same object, same serialization object. So, here you can find a predefined read object method. So, this is a predefined. Uh, method so this will uh, this will read the content on the form of JSON and it will return uh, it will return you in the form of .NET object so and then so it is expecting a stream so you need to pass you need to convert this file into the stream and you need to pass that stream to this predefined method so that it will uh, deserialize that and it will you can store that in a teacher's object a school object so for that for uh, getting stream of this file uh, I can create a new memory stream so we are in the memory stream so it's I can I can convert that file in the form of bytes and I can send that here so for converting it to the I want to read that file read all text sorry read all bytes so here you need to pa pass the path of the file which is having JSON so the path is nothing but this path so at the end it is the same path that I was using before so I'm using the same thing here okay so this is nothing but at the end I'm reading this file so here I'm having this JSON file JSON content file right so I'm reading that file and I'm storing that as a stream and I'm just passing that stream to this read object pdefined method so this will deserialize that uh, JSON content for me and I can store that in this cool object so here you can see it will be returning a object so I want to type cast that object to a school type so for that I was I'm, I'm just type casting it and I can store that 
and deserialized object okay okay so that's about deserialization i want to keep a break point here and i want to check whether i got this object this uh, json file content into this object or not so for that i want to keep a break point here and i want to run it uh, just i want to debug it press on f5 so it it came to the breakpoint and let's check the deserialized object whether i got the content or not so here you can see i got all the contents of that file so india school one and if you see the teachers again it's a collection so teacher id is one and another collection teacher id is two so i got all the results as expected the json content from this file is deserialized to this object and it is as expected so that's it friends about serialization and deserialization of a json object in .NET. okay and uh, if you like this video please like this video and also if you have any questions or queries please post them in the comment section so if i go through them i will definitely answer your questions or else any viewers of this uh, video will definitely answer your questions and also you know what friends uh, uh, in few more days i'm planning to uh, do some live uh, youtube videos like live streaming in youtube for answering uh, questions related to dotnet so if you want to uh, get the notification related to my live streaming please subscribe to my channel uh, so that's it friends thanks a lot for watching my video thank you have a good one